it was still a lot of um, experience, a lot of learning process. You know, um, I had experienced something that I never did. Not only, not only in the fight, but um, even um, even leading up into that fight. That fight day, it wasn't my day. It wasn't just my day. Not to say he would have. Maybe not to say the result would have been different, but it wasn't my day. Like um, at uh, any moment of the day that I feel like, okay, we are good here to go. You know, I remember being even in the locker, trying to warm up, and then, bro, he wasn't going. I I I was feeling asleep. I told Eric like, bro, something like I'm feeling asleep. I'm sweating, but I'm feeling asleep. But, you know, I assume that's how some people that I fought, I have fought, some people that um, I beat have feared before. But it was my, basically my first time to fear that. So, yeah. So that's why I kind of like take a um, couple days out. I took um, some time for me. Obviously, had to reflect on everything uh, that's happened to the fight and um, I guess I start this by saying and um, I'm gonna start this by saying um, heads up to to Anthony Joshua to his team that executed their plan properly um, and uh, heads up to my team too because uh, we did a great they did a great job you know I think I was just the one that uh, didn't execute the plan properly and uh, maybe didn't or didn't feel completely present. But uh, I was only the one that didn't show up, let's say that, because uh, everybody showed up and did um, what they should be done. So I'm happy about that. No blame to anybody. All the blame here is just about me. It's the game, you know. Walking into that, we all knew it could happen. I wasn't saying it happened like that, but he was. I always knew it could happen. So at least um, I was always prepared for that. But guess what? Before I get to answer some question, I just have to let you guys know. You guys know that it's not over yet, not at all. Like we just get started. The only thing that we would uh, miss you this time. And I think we have some good amount of time in, ahead of us as for right now. Um, so gonna take some time, you know, for myself, chill, spend time with my, uh, with my family, my friend, and then come back ready, go back to training, get prepared for another a challenge for another adventure because that's what we do that's why we're here we take challenges you know and um we learn we move but um regardless i feel okay i was quite um i was quite um surprised that um i remember everything you know um from that fight night coming back to the locker room and everything so basically um my um i was conscious right after and since then everything be good although still gonna make run some medical work just in case but yeah man so I will be very happy to answer some of you guys' questions if you have anything for me. Um, the main difference, so I'll answer this question first. What was the main difference between preparing um, for Fury and Joshua? I think um, the difference was just because like, the Joshua one was my second uh, boxing training camp. Uh, I have been there already. I feel way a lot uh, better, even in the training camp, like uh, even in the round, even my sparring partners was, uh, this time around was better uh, than, um, than the Fury one because I was able to handle, I was able to deal with the pressure uh, over the 10 rounds. 
um, which was something that was tougher in the Fury fight. But one thing, the huge, um, the thing that changed everything on the Fury fight, I get there and I was there. I'm like, okay, we're going to figure this out. But the Joshua fight, I don't know. I was trying to let it go. He wasn't like, he wasn't moving. So that's basically uh, the only difference, you know. But um, as far as uh, as the fight it's uh, the training camp, the training camp was uh, was way better. We feel great. I've, I had like my body mechanics works a um, lot better this time than uh, the first time. Obviously, I have like little little injury, minor injuries. But nothing that really stopped me from training or nothing that um, get worse to what was um, uh, in the Fury fight. So that's basically the, the, main, the main difference. But um, as far as me being healthy, I'm healthy, I feel healthy. Um, but uh, for the longevity of the sport, like when something like this happened, um, we better check and um, find out uh, if there's anything that could be done to get better, if there's anything wrong, you know, that uh, can retaliate after. So that's basically where I am right now. Um, what you said, you are not done with uh, boxing. How, what about MMA? Is that still, on the, the, still in the future? yes i'm not done with boxing uh i'm not done with mma i think like uh basically right now i have a fight against um i mean i have the opening now in the pfr in um in um renan ferrera yeah that will be my my future opening in uh, in the pfr but again I basically have um, have a lot of fights in the in the future, so I can still combine. I will still be back in action, but not because I don't. Um, I'm more comfortable in MMA that I will quit. Uh, I will let let boxing go. You know, I still gonna do both. I still gonna do it. It's part of what we do. We take challenge, and sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. But um, we are working on it. We are working on it. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you for the love. No, I'm really hurty. Uh, so I know I've been having uh, those questions. I didn't even have to go to the hospital. But uh, I was in standby in case like some, I feel weird. But everything been... I've been feeling good since then. Um, I saw a doctor today again just for a checkup and tomorrow I'll see a neurologist just for another checkup. But uh, other than that, everything is fine. Mm, fine, I'm looking for next. Yeah, as for right now, I don't know exactly like what's the fight that I will be looking for right uh, next. I know that I'm going to take time uh to some time to rest up you know focus on myself and then when i'm ready i will get back to training and um you know therefore we can start this course fight but as as for now we will just live the life because always remember it doesn't matter what your profession there's always a um there's always a a life we have a life going on that will continue to go would you fight world yes of course listen um i saw that some some people might have a lot of doubt and um not to say that anything is a um, guarantee anything is certain but come on man i'm a fighter we are here to fight and uh, whenever it comes to fighting, whenever it's time to fight, we go and fight. I can still fight anybody, you know. 
I don't think it's a time to talk about, um, but I don't think it's time to talk about fight mostly, but I can fight anybody. It's not about that. I take challenge. I go, I prepare for it. I come and again, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Hello. Let me see. What's your question? Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. I know the real one are always there. The real one are always uh, supporting. Sharing and I truly appreciate that. I appreciate you guys for standing by my side. I had a lot of messages from uh, from friends, from people, a lot of DM. Um, that for the most part I haven't uh, replied. Um, but um, you know I appreciate you guys all. I've been a little. I also took a time off of my phone. I spend less time on my phone. Uh, Joe Aspen, my guy, my man, always, thank you, bro. Love from, uh, from Mali, from, from Senegal. I appreciate guys <laughs> speaking French. Yes, je veux parler en français aussi. Donc, <laughs> sorry, I'll speak in French, French a little bit because, um, some um, some people here are only French speaking and I want to um, shout out to them and say thank you, merci beaucoup, merci à tous ceux qui m'ont soutenu. Um, C'est vrai que le, tout s'est pas passé comme prévu, la victoire n'a pas été au rendez-vous et le combat lui-même s'est pas passé comme prévu, c'était... C'était déjà une journée un peu bizarre, très bizarre, si, si je veux dire ça, parce que toute la journée, je me suis... j'ai jamais été dans le combat, je ne me suis jamais présenté à ce combat, parce que toute la journée, je n'étais pas là. Je suis arrivé à la reine aux alentours de 22h, et 23h, et j'ai dû combattre à 3h30 pendant 4h30. En, en aucun moment, j'étais moi-même, quoi, tu vois. Je me rappelle, je m'échauffais, euh, je transpirais, mais j'avais sommeil. Ce qui était un peu bizarre. On a accusé le, le fait qu'il se faisait tard, bien que je m'entraînais déjà un peu tardivement pour me préparer aux heures du combat. Mais bon, après, il ne faut pas faire des excuses. Hein. On se, en, tant que, en tant que combattant, il n'y a que deux issues dans un combat. Hein. On gagne ou on perd. Et il n'y a que deux façons de gagner ou de perdre, soit par décision, soit par chaos. Et désolé encore pour ceux qui ont eu le cœur brisé parce que j'ai beaucoup se sont sentis énormément mal. Ma famille, mes amis, mon équipe, ils se sont sentis énormément mal. Pour certains ont même eu peur, euh, mais heureusement il y a eu plus de peur que de mal. Voilà, c'était juste... Euh, c'était juste un mauvais jour, quoi. Là, on va reprendre nos esprits, aller s'entraîner. Prochainement, venir, venir mieux préparer. Euh, et voilà, observer encore plus le jeu, comprendre encore plus. Parce que, bon, c'est vrai qu'il y a beaucoup de choses où, où on comprend encore, où on apprend encore dans le monde de la boxe. Et c'est pas pour autant que je compte abandonner la boxe parce que c'est nouveau. Au contraire, c'est aujourd'hui, ça me doit déjà. Avant, j'aurais pu dire que je faisais ça rien que pour le plaisir. Mais là, là, après vendredi, ça, euh, vendredi soir, je pense que la boxe me doit beaucoup. Et je vais revenir forcément pour, pour prendre ce qui m'appartient. Donc, euh, voilà. Um, what is your plan to go back? What do you plan to go back home to Cameroon? Um, I'm planning to go back in Cameroon very soon. As for right now, I'm just in Paris. I arrive in Paris today. I'll spend a few days here and then probably go back to Cameroon. Yeah, maybe go back to Cameroon and see my family because they're all... Uh, all those who were, were at the fight went back in Cameroon and stuff. So I'm in Paris 
for a couple of days and then I will go back in Cameroon. So yes and again thank you for your worries for your love for the support i appreciate you guys being there sharing this moment um and uh the journey is on we are not done yet Derek bronson my man what's up <laughs> good to see you too khalid murphy respect to you too my brother I appreciate you guys i appreciate all the support and um i just thought i would stop here and say hi to you guys give you a little update and then um yeah drop it here uh yeah my man i saw cristiano let some text i missed that right my man Thank you again for the support. I appreciate that. Thank you guys. Wish you all guys uh, to have a good night or a good day uh, from wherever you are at.